what forms do I need to file for taxes for a small business? In this video, I'll simplify exactly what forms you need to file if you have a small business. And I'll also be including how you can file these forms yourself. Amanda here from the Business Finance Coach where I'm simplifying finance. You are more empowered now than ever in history to create things in the world and make money, which is exactly why I'm taking you step-by-step step through accounting, taxes, and business planning over at the Business Finance Coach. You can join me by clicking the small watermark down in the bottom right corner of this video. Now back to which tax forms you need to file for your small business. In the first type of business, the sole proprietor. Now you'll know you're a sole proprietor if you just started working for yourself and you're paid but you're not an employee, or if people submit to you form 1099s. Now you also may have made a DBA for your business through your state, in all of these cases, as long as you didn't form another type of business with your state, then you're what's called a sole proprietor. And for taxes, you have the easiest form out there to fill out, and that's the Schedule C. The Schedule C is attached to your personal tax return, so you get to file everything together. You can't file your business separate from yourself when you're self-employed. It's part of your personal return. There's all sorts of DIY tax software out there like TurboTax or FreeTax USA. And most of them will always include your self-employed return. Now with TurboTax, the cost is quite costly. Most people think being over $100. With FreeTax USA, it's actually completely free. And you can check out other video series I have going through the comparison of these two and showing you step by step how to file your self-employed taxes. Now the second type of business is an LLC. And the tax form you complete when you're an LLC depends on how many owners you have. If you have only one owner, you're what's called a single member owner, LLC. And you, bec and because the IRS never created a tax form for the LLC, you default to be self-employed. So you have the best of both worlds. You get to file your taxes just like I just explained for the sole proprietor with your personal return on a Schedule C versus all the other types of businesses, which we'll talk about next, that have to file a separate business return first and then give forms to their owners and workers to report on your personal return. So again, because the LLC doesn't have a tax return with the IRS, as a single member LLC, you file taxes just like a self-employed person. And there is no difference. If your LLC has two or more members, then you're what's called a multi-member LLC and you're taxed as a partnership. If you're a partnership, you'll be taxed the same exact way as a multi-member LLC as well. Both of these types of businesses will file Form 1065 by March 15th. When you're self-employed or a single member LLC, the, you just have the personal return due date of April 15th. When you're a partnership or a multi-member LLC filing taxes as a partnership, you have to file Form 1065 by March 15th. And with that Form 1065, there's a Schedule K-1 for each partner or member in the business. And so by March 15th, you give a copy of those to each owner in the business so that they can then file that with their personal return by April 15th. So the fourth type, a corporation. As a corporation, you file Form 1120. And if you work in the business, you'll need to issue yourself a Form W-2 and pay yourself just like you pay employees. Owners in the business, people who own stock in the business will only pay taxes if they received dividends during the year on 1099 div. Otherwise, they only address income when they sell their shares. Now, the last tax form I want to mention applies to LLCs, partnerships, and corporations if, for taxes, you elected S-Corp status. S-Corp status is a new type of tax return that combines corporation and partnership features geared towards smaller businesses with no more than 100 shareholders to have special tax advantages. If you elected S-Corp status, then you'll be completing Form 1120-S for the S-Corp. And there'll also be a Schedule K-1 1120-S for each owner of the business, each shareholder in the business. 
If you are a shareholder who also works in the business, like the corporation, you have to treat yourself as an employee and you should be getting a W-2 for any work you did in the business. You cannot issue yourself a 1099. Now, with all these business returns, multi-member LLC partnership, which are taxed the same, the corporation, and the S-Corp, you can do those with TurboTax business software. Now, there's not many DIY softwares for businesses because they are fairly complicated returns. However, I will be walking you through step-by-step step, and I'll also be looking for some more competition for TurboTax. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe. The more you understand the tax rules, the more you'll understand the accounting, the more you'll use numbers to plan your business. Certainly there's a time benefit where you've got to weigh what is your time worth, but I've found that knowing the money is always worthwhile. Thanks for watching. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Otherwise, be sure to subscribe if you are a small business owner or you want to become one. I would love to help you succeed. Hope to see you around the channel soon. Bye.